you mentioned already a bit the dosage, but can in certain cases the intake of supplements also be harmful? Unfortunately, yes, and this is also a common uh, misconcep misconception when uh, people think that uh, uh, something is uh, good and more is even better, and especially mm. when we are talking about uh, vitamins and minerals. And mm. unfortunately, this is not the case. And here is also where EFSA uh, plays uh, a big role uh, throughout the years. Uh, we have been uh, constantly working on uh, establishing uh, something called dietary reference values or DRVs. One of them, uh, they they are uh, focused on on excess intake. So uh, okay. the risk uh, caused by the excess intake of of particular nutrient, mm -hmm. nutrient yeah. to food supplements. And uh, here in this area, uh, we established something called upper level, okay. which is basically a level of intake of a particular nutrient, which can be cr chronically used uh, without uh, risk for uh, for human health. But after this uh, level, uh, we can expect the risk to start to increase. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is for sure case uh, for uh, majority of, of nutrients, vitamins and minerals. And uh, we know, for example, I can mention, uh, I was personally working on an on upper level opinion on ma uh, manganese, mm -hmm. which is essential mineral. But on the other hand, if taken in excess uh, amounts throughout prolonged period of time, it can be neurotoxic. Mm 